I'm Kitty Cat Country and today I'm going to show you a bunch of things that I bought that I don't need. <laughs> so this is like excluding skincare because skincare is, skincare is something that I need. Um, it's stuff that I use consistently every single day. Um, the only time that I really buy extras of it is during Black Friday. So these are the things that I bought that I, it's not all the things that I bought this year, you know, because I bought like a pair of shoes, um, which I needed. Um, I mean, why, I don't know why I'm trying to like <laughs> do this. Um, listen, I'm not going to explain my purchases. Look, what I bought this year, Drizzly, Drizzly, Drizzly says, hey, hey, <laughs> um, these are things that I don't need. And what I mean by things that I don't need is eyeshadow palettes and perfume because I don't go through perfume as fast as I wish I did. And trust me, I douse myself with, you know, perfume. Like, and I used to be that person that would go during the sales and like buy a surplus of things. You know, like Bath and Body Works had sales and I would go and buy and Victoria's Secret sales would happen and I'd go buy a body mist, you know? I used to be that person, but I got more conscious of my space and clutter and I was like, okay, look, let me just get through my shit because I discovered the joy of actually, you know, using up the things that I have and having that sense of like, oh, you know, like that was money well spent, you know, like I really got my money's worth, that kind of, you know what I mean? Like I was in that mindset. I'm in that mindset now and I much prefer that. Um, so, and like I've had these for like two years. So like I just started into this one and I'm already here, okay? So I mean it when I say like I like to go through my shit, you know, like run through it, you know, enjoy it and move on with my life. So, but these are the things that I can't run through as much as I can perfume or, you know, body cream and skincare, you know, that, that stuff. I can't do that. Um, but speaking of perfumes, I bought this little guy because this month I had a little more um, disposable income. Um, I was blessed with disposable income, this paycheck. And so I went to Ulta and I started looking at all the perfumes and I was like, damn, at the end of the day, these are still pretty expensive. So I went to Target, right? To buy like a bunch of organization stuff. And I saw, and th that's where I got this 20 bucks. For how many ounces? 1.7 fluid ounces. And this is really nice. It's like a woody scent, you know? So anyways, um, the true testament will be, does it last? So, um, so I'm not at, I don't feel as guilty buying this stuff and I don't feel guilty buying this. Okay. Um, this right here is a color corrector and I've never used a color corrector before. And I don't think you can get a really good sense of what my skin tone is right now because I look like I look a little yellow to me uh, maybe not to you but this right here is peach okay so I am a little up there in age you know I'm not in my 20s anymore so I've noticed a lot of changes okay when it comes to the texture of my skin I was lucky enough to turn 30 and get a bunch of acne, you know, that I never had in my teens or in my 20s. So, um, once I got rid of that, it left me with these lovely acne scars. So, and I've noticed that this part is starting to droop a little and starting to create like little dips right here. And I've noticed that my concealers are not covering the dark circles like they used to. And I've noticed that my dark circles have gotten worse. So, um, 
I, w I bought several like concealers, you know, um, from drugstore to high end and nothing like it all seemed the same to me. Right. So I was like, I'm so dumb. Like it literally dawned on me when I was watching Jen Phelps on YouTube and she was like mentioning this guy and she was like, yeah, I use this and it's the best thing ever. And I'm like, man, she's up there in age just like I am. So let me give it a try. And let me tell you something. I should have fucking never wasted so much money on all those concealers. I should have just went straight to the color corrector. Anyways, um, I bought a brow freeze. I really don't need that because I have this guy right here. This next one. It's really nice. But uh, I noticed that if I don't do this after I apply it onto my eyebrows, it flakes. So now we're going into, I definitely did not need to buy this territory, but the, I don't know, like something came over me. Okay. So this is eyeshadow palettes. And I, yes, I will say a lot of the stuff that I bought, the stuff that I bought that I don't need is all exclusively eyeshadow palettes. So I'm here to show you not not my haul. This is not a haul video. This is not like, oh my God, look at the stuff that I bought. No, it's not that. It's very much look at my shame. Okay. <laughs> am I going to enjoy this? Yes. Am I going to throw this out? No, but join me while I share my shame. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this right here is an eyeshadow powder palette from Gorman Girls. It's a Latina owned company based in Austin and look how beautiful that palette is it's gorgeous and just to give you an idea of just how gorgeous that is look at that right Gaio Mio? it's so pretty Gaio Mio says it's pretty and i absolutely agree let me just swatch one more okay um i this bad boy set me back uh, 50 bucks or something like that or 45 bucks and i don't mind that because this is an indie brand it's like grassroots, like she has her own thing, um, small company and you know, like I say, I say on my channels, I like to support small businesses. I like to support indie businesses. Okay. This guy right here is a rose quartz palette for a lot of you guys that are in the beauty community, the beauty space. This is not, um, unknown to you, but there are few eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow formulas that i enjoy in you know anywhere in store um and huda beauty always comes through for me with the eyeshadow palettes this guy right here oh and she was having like a huge sale so these set me back 40 bucks 40 bucks a pop do I regret it? No. Am I ashamed? Yes. Who cares? All right. So this is Glam Light. Um, also an indie brand. You can't buy this in stores, so you have to order it online. Um, this is the color story. Look how gorgeous that is. These, these sent me back. I got two of them. These sent me back, set me back $20. It's not the worst. So... Let me show you that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. And the mattes. I love the mattes from Glam Light. They're very pretty. Um, let me show you. Love the paladins. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was really funny. This was definitely something that I didn't expect when they decided to do a Halloween collaboration. Usually, like, they... Go lean more towards uh, Hocus Pocus. I see brands lean more towards that and absolutely lean into um, The Nightmare Before Christmas and also Beetlejuice. Scooby-Doo was not expecting that. So. Look at that. Look at that magic. Oh my God. Ugh. I'm not even joking. This is what I do sometimes. I'll be sitting in my room, right? 
and I'll pop on a YouTube video of someone in the beauty space. And I'm like, you know what? I'll open my little bookcase right here that I keep all my palettes in and I just swatch my eyeshadows and I just stare at them and marvel and I think, I wish I was that color. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a psycho. Anyways, here's another palette that I get. Again, Huda Beauty never disappoints. I love her stuff. Um, oh God, look at it's like it's like liquid gold. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I mean, okay, listen. These are all usually $68, $69. And let me tell you something. I Although I love the formula of Huda, of Huda Beauty, I will not pay full price. Not because I'm cheap, but because I can wait. I can do the long waiting game until Black Friday when you're slashing prices on your eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I can wait because I have several more eyeshadow palettes that I've bought like in the past years that I'm still very much in love with. All right, so these um, other ones I didn't get during Black Friday, I did get this year. I, again, I didn't get them, I got them on sale. Um, I waited until they were on sale. But these, this brand is actually very inexpensive. I got this from these two from Ulta, they're by Essence Beauty. And these are literally, I think they're, Actually, you know, I think these are like $12 a pop, but I got them while they were $7. And they're not, the quality and the pigmentation of the shimmers and stuff, it's not as intense as my indie brands. But what I like about them is that they do the job, okay? I can appreciate them for what they are. It's very like daytime realness, you know, like going to the office, going to work. I have to go to work today, it's five o'clock, I need something that's gonna blend very easy and that I don't have to fuss with very much. You know, something that I know for sure I won't go overboard with. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that I don't like to stunt on days that I go to work. That's this guy right here. The one that I'm swatching is Welcome London. Um, Gayo Mio says, please do a vlogmas on how you color your hair gorgeous hair. Thank you. I don't do my own hair. I got it done by this amazing lady. Her name is, her uh, Instagram tag is hello there hair. Her name is Katie. Katie Roach and she works at Alchemy Salon. She's a genius and I really appreciate her because, um, she knows my hair is textured, it's curly, and she, like, she didn't even ask me. Like, she just knew. She was like, we need to keep these, we need to keep this girl's curls in check. So, if you don't know, if you color your hair a lot, if you lighten it a lot uh, with curly hair, it will kill your curls. So, she was like, she, she always worked with me. Uh, she always kept that in mind whenever she did my hair. So the last time I saw her, instead of trying to like make me um, lighten my roots, she was like, how about we put blue in your hair so we can blend your roots, which are dark, into the dark blue and then it fades into the, the purple. The longer we can go without lightening your hair, bleaching your hair, um, the better for your hair. Your curls will stay. So I love that. Um... Anyway, it, oh, and she blow dried it. I could never do this on my own. I just, I don't have the patience. I don't know where to go. I, it, it's one of the, I just don't, I'm not good at hair. So I just pay someone to do it. <laughs> I save up and I pay someone to do it. All right, so this is the other one that I bought. It's this one. I'm not sure if I showed you already. Bien, Benvenuti, Benvenuti a Roma. So it's Welcome to Rome. Um, so that's Welcome to Rome. That's one of the shimmers. This is one of the mattes. It's like a dark green matte. That's really nice. You know, so that's why I really appreciate these, you know. 
Um, in my early days of makeup, something like this would have gotten me mad and then just like, I would have like tossed it or something wasteful like that. Um, I am sad to say that I did get rid of a lot of uh, old eyeshadow palettes, older eyeshadow palettes, just because they didn't fit my style. But, and that makes me really sad because, you know, palettes like these are not heavy in pigmentation. But I feel like I can, there's still room in my makeup life that I could enjoy them. The thing that was a make and break for me was if it doesn't last me an eight hour day, then I don't want it. Um, and that's fair. You know, I don't feel too bad about that because that does kind of suck whenever you spend your time in the morning to do your makeup and at the end of the day, it's like faded. Um... The reason why that sucks for me is because, like, time in the morning is precious, okay? Waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and you're investing time to do your makeup, you want that shit to last because it's like, hey, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, if I'm here to do my job, you do yours. <laughs> That's the standard that I, ho that I hold for makeup. So, anyways, I want to tell you, okay... Today was the first day that I did a TikTok that was as complex as it is. So please check out my TikTok. Show it some love. I am proud of it. Okay. It literally, it's okay. I have a newfound respect for people who do like TikToks on their phones. Okay. I didn't, like until my husband started doing TikToks, I didn't know that you could use a camera, go into an editing software, edit it, zhuzh it up, upload it to TikTok, and there's the TikTok, and it looks so pretty and advanced and stuff. So I don't do that. I did it on my phone. I literally had to be conscious that I had to film all the stuff that I was doing in a way that tells a story, right? Not something that's choppy, not something that's inco like incohesive, you know, like I had to keep that in mind throughout the whole day. And I have a newfound respect for people that can do that because it is very difficult. I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I feel you, like I feel it now. So much respect. Um, and I, I call myself very lucky to be a part of that group now. So anyways, if you want to look at that TikTok to see what I did for 80% of the day, check it out. Uh, I'm kitty cat country on there. What I thought I was recording was my trip to the, to the uh, grocery store, but for some reason that didn't show up, but, uh, the TikTok starts right after I finish my grocery shopping. So Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas. Um, yeah, and I'm still going strong. Yay! All right, so I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.